Hello guys, welcome back to AY Excellent Tech. Today we're doing a high stake comparison Starlink versus the MTN 5G here in Nigeria in 2025. I will test network coverage speed, latency, mobility, reliability cost, and value. And um, of course, future readiness. Now, if you're wondering which is the smarter internet pet in Nigeria right now, sit tight, you'll get real data and my hands on test on this issue. Let's dive right in. Now, a quick housekeeping. I've set up both services side by side in a lorry and um, you can replicate it in your city anywhere you are in Nigeria. Now, I'll show you how we test, what tools we use and how to interpret the result. I'm not paid by either of these network. That's why I'm not wearing any of their color. Now, this is an independent thing. Now, I want you guys to be able to decide which network you'll be going for next or what you would buy. So at the end, I will give my verdict and tips for Nigerians choosing between each of these networks. Now, Starlink, according to its availability map, the service is officially listed in Nigeria with full national reach. In Q1 of 2025, Nigeria was confirmed as one of its point of presence, POP in Africa to lower latest. Now, for the MTN 5G, the network launched commercially in Nigeria in September 2022, covering major cities, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ibado, Kano, Oweri, Medugori, and by 2023, they reported 11% of population coverage. I think in a lorry, we started seeing it around ending of 2023. Now, on this issue, why Starlink claims nationwide reach, strong bonus for rural and underserved zones, MTN 5G is very strong in major cities, use case will matter, urban versus remote. So whichever one you are going for. Here is how I will test this. I'm going to be using different services on speed tester to test these guys. So I'm going to be showing you exactly what this result comes out to be. I actually did a test for Starlink and for MTN 5G. I had to even subscribe to MTN 5G for the purpose of this video. Now, I tested it three times on three different platforms. I did that of um, Ookla. I did that of gfiber and that of fast.com so i got um the download speed the upload speed and the latency and i did an average of it so the average download speed of um, starlink is 104 mbps 104 mbps for the upload speed i got an average of 24.3 mbps this is what i tested three times and of course i was able to get this result the latency is about 29.3 milliseconds it was tested around 7 p.m and on the day on a regular day so 7 p.m to mean that um, at that time people are already returning from their offices okay so i like you to take note of that and for the mtn 5g i also did the same test and um, almost the same time the average download speed was 24 mbps and the upload is 30 mbps the latency is about 89.6 milliseconds that is very high now this shows what we can obtain from this test and setup i mean it is clear that the two of them are not on the same league now i understand some people will come for this video and say blah 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 this one where you are yes location matters that is why i say rural and urban i stay in lorry of course you cannot compare the urban of lagos to the urban of lorry that's exactly what I want you to take note of. And at the same time, MTN may be faster over there, but I think um, Starlink user get around 300 Mbps for their mini and up to 500 Mbps on their standard in Lagos. So if we run the test in Lagos or anywhere else, we'll still get a higher download and upload speed. So I tested on Ookla, I tested on Fast.com and Gfiber, and this is what the averages look like. As you can see, in this test, Starlink delivered over four times faster download and eight times better upload, and about one third of the latency of MTN 5G. Of course, you know, the latency should be lower, but yeah, so that of Starlink is lower, far lower follow about one over three so as you can see it on the screen so what it means to you is that starlink will give you smoother streaming low lag gaming strong upload for creators for mtn 5g 
lower cost and mobile flexibility but slower throughput and higher ping um i think it's in the past of course the lower cost i mean to say probably the cost of purchasing the gadget let's talk about mobility stationary vessels on the move now i remember in those days i used to travel i mean long journeys i put this router inside the car and then we're traveling we can use this as long as we move as long as there's battery and i also bought a a um, cigarette lighter that charges the power pack and so I'm, I'm just on the move and this is working even when your normal network on the phone is not working the mtn 5g still is able to get network now i want to ask can you rely on the network when you move eg whether for mobile use or your stationary home office mtn 5g is by far definition mobile so in theory you can move around and stay connected but performance will depend on location signal strength and answers between towers now starlink is primarily fixed home service dish mounted though there are mobile kits but at higher cost now of course you saw the uh, mobile kit i used on my previous video if you have not watched it where i took starlink on a journey on a road trip you can watch it right away now for mobility car travel starlink will not be practical every day in nigeria unless you invest in the room oriented kit there's no room service in nigeria at the moment so that is not even an option so in our test i actually moved to location to see different scenarios and then for mtn 5g mtn 5g is working you can move around with it but for starlink you cannot move around with it so mtn wins for mobility for static home premium experience starlink wins this is about how well each service performs under adverse conditions every rain storms thick cloud power outages and all the rest now starlink because it uses satellite dish and clear skyline of sight every rain or storms common in lagos in lorry and every coastal area can reduce signal or cause dropout also power supply matters a lot dish plus router plus mount and every other thing you understand that you need a lot of power supply now mtn 5g because it uses terrestrial towers weather has less direct impact but signal strength can degrade indoors or in buildings with poor penetration high-rise offices and the rest now one thing i've realized is that even in nigeria when there's no light when there's no light you're in trouble even with some of these networks i realized that recently i mean many of these networks they even peer they share the mass because of the cost of maintaining their infrastructure and their mast. so it's a lot and sometimes when there is no light things get bad now somebody was telling me that in Oshobo, when there's light the network is sharp but when there's no grid power the network goes down this will not happen with your starlink We look at how each of these networks behaves over time peak evening hours weekends user congestions and outages now mtn 5g being mobile and cellular congestions can eat when many users are on the same cell tower you imagine areas where people are at work when they are at work in the morning daytime there's congestion there but when they come back home there are areas in every city where it's a residential area and business area so the business area are congested during the day while the residential area are congested at night so if everybody is using the same cell tower things will begin to lag i realized that 7 pm 8 pm 9 pm are times where network lags especially the mtn 5g so since become saturated now for starlink it has already experienced capacity pressure in nigeria for example now the service is post for new subscription in lagos and abuja ogun state and some popular cities in nigeria and of course network constraint also there was a global outage on july 24 2025 i also recorded that on this channel where starlink went out for about two and a half hours yeah it went out for about two and a half hours so my verdict stability in real life home plus office usage may favor one service depending on the local load so depending on number of people who are using it at a particular time that is what will determine whether starlink or mtn 5g will be congested 
Now, for Stalin, for Nigeria, the residential plan as of 2025 cost about uh, 57,000 naira per month with one time kit cost. 590,000 naira for standard and 345k for the mini. By the way, if you want to get your Starlink now, if you use my link, you will get one month free subscription. And by that way, you're supporting this channel. The link is on your screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. So you get 57,000 naira dashed to you because you used my link. Now, moving on, also, you will have to get someone to mount it for you after you have bought your kit and all that and some mounting kits that you may have to build yourselves those are hidden costs there's a video on that on this channel you can go check it out how i set it up now for the mtn 5g for mobile 5g you will pay monthly data plan fees plus router cost now they are advertised that they can get up to 800 mbps i've not seen anyone with that in nigeria for sterling total upfront plus monthly subscription for the standard you pay 590,000 naira plus 57,000 naira subscription monthly for, so for your first month you are paying 647,000 naira or you pay 411,000 naira for the mini now and you get unlimited data unlimited data versus the mtn 5g router it costs about 100,000 naira plus monthly plan of 55,000 naira for 250 gig 250 gig then value if you get 200 mbps download consistently on starlink versus mtn that gives you let's just up them to about 100 mbps but maybe less consistent how much value for money do you get for nigerians budget matters a lot now the reason why i switched to starlink was because i was beginning to use the one terabyte 225k for around three weeks it finishes in three weeks so how do you want me to keep up that means i'm paying 225,000 naira for data almost every month almost every month so the value for money does not go well with me now here is what you should check installation support local warranty exit penalties contract times and all that now let me tell you starlink has a lot of that starlink is a satellite kit that is imported into the country local support may be weaker returns and exchanges may be harder some users reported wait lists or delays for new activations in nigeria i bought one for someone recently and i'm still having issues with i uh, mean activating it we activated it even down here and took it back to lagos it still did not work we wanted to see if it will work but it did, it did not work so for someone who is thinking of that it will not work so that's um that's what we did for the mtn as local mobile operators you have shops local call centers you can get to their working centers so um and then um, your complaints can actually be addressed on twitter they can respond to you in those days starlink don't respond as such but now they do respond and as a matter of fact they have ai that responds to you based on any question you ask on the platform finally future proving 5g rollout versus starlink constellation in nigerian context for those in lagos abuja ogun state and some areas like that that starlink has been maxed out you may need to wait for some time before starlink returns if you want to have the first spots you need to pay some amount of money so that when there's more space in lagos ogun um, portacourt and um, abuja you'll be able to get your start this is about which service will stay ahead in nigeria over the next two to five years starlink as part of spacex satellite constellation globally it has great potential to cover remote areas rural nigeria offshore and both it is expanding rapidly in africa now mtn 5g with spectrum acquisition of 3.5 gigahertz and infrastructure investment of more than 120 million dollars expansion continues from a nigerian viewer perspective if you live in lagos or major city and are mobile 5g will keep improving with 6g on horizon if you live in rural or hardwired area or need home office fixed line alternative starlink will be a great offer and it will give you unique value also i would like you to watch cost inflation regulatory risk naira devaluation 
and all that so what's my take satellite internet is here to stay and i'm enjoying the one i'm using if i should calculate now in five months i have used 10 terabytes for example and i think i've used more than that so if we calculate that's about 285,000 era which is 57,000 era per month and if i've used 10 terabytes that means i've just been spending 28,500 per terabyte per terabyte actually i can use more than that but that's what i've been probably been able to use now if you have to choose mtn 5g if you are in a city you have a 5g compatible device need mobility and want strong cost effectiveness now you choose that link if you're in a semi-urban or rural setting need high fixed download speed stable home office connectivity and you are comfortable with higher upfront cost and at the end of the day i think your cost will cancel out you will be at profit so either way this is not about which network is better but this is about what works for you this is about what works for you so text your exact location review course contract and all the rest and monitor peak times thanks for watching now if you have found this video useful please hit like subscribe and comment your local speed results below i'll try to feature viewer tests in the next video now here are five quick bonus tips that i can give nigerians always test your actual speed with ethernet wired device not just wi-fi on your phone ask neighbors about how the network performs at 8 to 10 pm peak time if you go starlink ensure you have battery or inverter backup because power outages will affect services now for the mtn 5g check if your area really has 5g signal not just 4g masquerading as yes you get it go into phone settings and network to confirm all right guys that's the full starlink versus mtn 5g showdown for 2025 if this helped you decide which network fits your setup do me a favor hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss our next real world test and if you want to buy the link is on your screen and the description i've got another video right here waiting for you starlink setup in Lorin and how fast it was delivered to me it shows my unfiltered starlink install and two month result in nigeria check it now and see how it all began. Bye.